Tonight for dinner, we're having brisket, corn on the cob, and mac and cheese. We did a dry rub overnight. Then we cooked it in the oven at 250 for six hours. Let's boil the water for the noodles for the mac and cheese. I salt my water to give flavor to my pasta. These are my favorite noodles to use when I make homemade mac and cheese. Give your noodles a stir to prevent burning and sticking to the bottom of the pot. Let's make the sauce for the mac and cheese. Melt two tablespoons of butter in your saucepan and add in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Whisk it together to form a paste. Let it cook for several minutes. Get your milk ready. Keep it on medium heat to prevent burning. Just add a little bit at a time because you want it to come together with the roux, which is the flour and the butter mixture. You'll see it thicken. As this happens, you can slowly add in more. The pasta is ready, so let's drain it. Okay, back to our sauce. We're going to add in our Velveeta cheese. Whisk the sauce to help the cheese melt. Keep your heat on low to medium heat so you do not burn your sauce. Add in your cheddar cheese and stir. If you have not done so already, add the remainder of the Velveeta in. I like to add in black pepper, but I do not add any additional salt because the cheese is salty enough. Butter your baking dish. Now we're gonna pour that delicious cheese sauce all over our noodles. I like to do half the noodles, half the cheese, and then add in more noodles and more cheese. It makes it easier to stir it so it doesn't go all over the place. Before we put this in the oven, we're gonna add a little sprinkle of cheddar cheese on top. Our meat is done. It's so tender and juicy. Just look at it. We toss the corn in the cob in fresh garlic, parsley, and butter. Just look how cheesy that is. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I look forward to the next video. Bye. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.